doing, everybody, and welcome back to some more Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Last episode, we did a little bit of exploring and found this new island over here, this pretty big island, which was very good for trees, berries, uh, but was also infested with snakes and overall kind of dangerous. We did take a little bit more damage than I would have liked to have taken uh, whilst we stayed on that island. Also, we should be careful not to run directly into these waves because, again, uh, if we do run into them whilst they're facing this way, uh, we do take quite a bit. I don't know if we take damage, but our stuff does get wet, and I'm not quite sure what wetness does, but I also know that I don't like it. So we're going to try our best to avoid hitting these waves if possible. Uh, I would also like to apologize for the massive gap in days between episode 1 and episode 2 of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Uh, my keyboard broke like a few hours after I recorded the first episode and, and only arrived like 10 minutes ago here. Uh, so yeah, I've got a new keyboard and, and hopefully that will improve our Don't Starve skills. I have no idea how we managed to make our way through that wave just then without getting hit, but I am not going to worry about that one bit. So... What I want to work on today, or one thing that I want to have done uh, at some point today, is I want to get a crock pot up and running. Because we have almost everything we need, and this is not what I expected. Is this like a slot machine? Is this what we can use our doubloons on? Ooh. Ooh, 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 okay. I thought this was going to be a uh, touchstone that would give us another life like we did before. Uh, can we use this? Can I put these in? Oh, I can. We won! Oh my, what the, what? <laughs> what? Okay, I will take the gold and I will take the fire staff. Can I use the fire staff? Oh my god, what? <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. We killed the bird, and I mean, it didn't drop any bird meat, it just dropped ashes. But wow, <laughs> wow, that was incredibly lucky. Okay, uh, we should probably remember the, the, the position of that uh, that right there uh so all we need to do now and uh, now that that's done with uh, all we need to do to get a crock pot is get ourselves some saplings i thought that we got ourselves enough stones to make this happen but looking at my inventory it doesn't look like we actually do have enough stones to make this happen whatsoever um and this island looks pretty big but is very empty and I don't know whether or not that's a good thing. That could be a good thing because it gives us a lot of space to kind of do stuff. But I also kind of like it when it's filled with like trees and, uh, and stuff like that. We will definitely break this open to get a little bit more gold. We have more than enough gold to do whatever we want for this episode now. We can make ourselves a, a science machine, which we did take down at the end of last episode. Let's get rid of this ash for now, I guess. And uh, we can also, if we like, make ourselves the alchemy engine as well, which is pretty cool. So I know we need quite a bit. Oh my god, look at this more gold. This is brilliant. Uh, okay, I see that we've got some monkeys over here. Monkeys can be a bit of an issue because, of course, uh, if we anger them, they will start throwing poop. If we don't anger them, uh, they won't throw poop, they will, but they will follow us and kind of annoy us that way. And uh, most likely take our stuff as well, which is uh, still pretty annoying. Do we have what it takes to take another one of these? We do. Um, that is fine. I don't think we need to worry about uh, sapling sandwich now because we've got that nice little sandy area uh, over by the slot machine where we can go ahead and get some more saplings uh, for the crock pot if needs be. Uh, I think we needed three cut stone, and if I'm not mistaken, each cut stone... Oh, there's a snake, speaking of flipping snakes. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to set up base over in the sandy area on this island, because this is quite nice. We've got both a sandy area, so we can kind of plant our coconut trees, uh, as well as play that slot machine if we need to. We've got far, far more doubloons. Um, I don't want to play it just yet, but we will probably play it at some point in the future. And also, we still have access to all of those trees over there if we so wish. So, what I'm thinking is probably smack bang in the middle of this island so we don't have to worry about hurricane season and the water kind of coming in and flooding us uh, and so what i'm thinking is we get ourselves a science machine straight up here and we are missing wood obviously of all the things we could be missing we are missing wood we'll just go ahead and chop this guy down here and we should also uh, go ahead and start planting down some more of these coconuts he didn't take that did he no he didn't good stuff all right let's get this science machine down i don't think this monkey can do anything to our science machine so we should be fine we do have this fire in in our inventory so i'll go ahead and put that down because why not and then now we've got all that i think that we should be able to make a crock pot we cannot because we are missing uh, oh no that's a drying rack we cannot because we are missing the cut stone and the saplings right we have zero out of six let's see if we can quickly grab ourselves six of these saplings before the uh, the dark of night we should be able to i think now that we have this kind of fast pickup mod 
installed. Also, uh, one thing I do need to bear in mind is that limpets, if you eat them raw, decrease your sanity. That is something that a bunch of people in the comment section of the last episode did point out. Uh, if you eat raw limpets, your sanity goes down by 10 every time you eat raw limpets. So, uh, not a good idea. Something to bear in mind uh, every time we try and do that. We do now have enough of these saplings. So, let's head back over here. And let's see about, first of all, refining some of this good old stone that we've got. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have enough because we spent some on the pickaxe, didn't we? Oh, that's not good. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Let's go ahead. And I think for tonight, our hunger is getting a little bit scarily low. We're on 20 hunger. I'm going to eat all of these sweet potatoes. I kind of don't want to use any of my, th uh, admittedly, 37 berries uh, just yet because I'd like to make those into fistfuls of jam if I can when, um, when the day dawns. So what I'm thinking for now is we will go ahead and start planting down some more of these kind of just around nearby here. Uh, I don't know. We, I don't think we want to plant them too close because we don't want them to, to set on fire. But I don't think this is going to be that bad. Uh, let's go ahead and cook up all our seaweed. We might as well. Uh, I wonder if seaweed has a debuff. Um, yeah, sanity minus 10. So if you eat seaweed raw as well, we do lose 10 sanity, 10 sanity. So we should definitely cook all of that up. And now I'm assuming we don't lose that sanity. We don't. And so I'm going to go ahead and eat most of this. Actually, now that we've roasted it, we probably should eat it all. We probably, if we were thinking about it, should have saved some just in case we needed some antidote or some anti-venom uh, in order to... Can I cook coconuts? Can I burn these? I want something to add to the fire so it doesn't go out. Palm leaves? Yeah, here we go. Um, I probably... Oh, it's the daytime. Okay. <laughs> I probably should have saved some uh, in case we need some anti-venom. But uh, we shouldn't run across that uh, anytime soon. If we do, uh, I can already see some on the minimap here. I think that this, once the freeze is done... Uh, yeah, there's like three more seaweed just off... Or two more seaweed just off the coast there, which is pretty nice as well. So, uh, I don't think that's going to be too big of a deal. Let's quickly throw down the rest of these. And then I think we should run back into the forest. There are no more stones over here, are they? There's the rocks with the limpets on, but again, I don't want to break those because they do provide us a nice uh, unlimited source of food. So what I think I'm going to do for today is kind of equip my pickaxe and uh, run back over and see how far that uh, the, this section of the world goes. This sort of like foresty, grassy area we've got. Uh, see how far this goes. See if we can find ourselves any stone. Hopefully not attract any more monkeys, although I assume that that will be inevitable and they will probably follow us back um, no matter what. Does... Oh, please tell me this expands. Oh, this is good. I thought the world was going to kind of end there. But no, it does continue. Is that a spider's thing? It is. Now, it is good. Even though last time we played, we did die to spiders. Uh, it is good to be somewhat near a spider den. Because what we can do with that is we can come over and get some silk at some point in the future. Uh, if we decide we need it. There are a few. Oh, this is real scary. Because there are like seven dead bodies here. I'm a little worried about how all those guys died. Uh, we should definitely be picking up these berries as we go. Uh, I'm kind of avoiding this area down here because I know it's got some poisonous, like, frogs in it. Even though we've got these fishermen's huts, which I'm still kind of interested in. Uh, it does have some, like, poisonous frog type things that I don't want to fight just yet. Uh, and so let's go ahead and just grab this gold. We have two. Uh, how many do we need? We need six. We have four. So we need to find at least one more rock. Before we can really make this work. Now the question is. Are we going to find that one more? Did he just eat berries off that bush? I think he did. I think he just ate berries directly off of that bush. What a guy. Okay. Um, I wish there was like a little button on this mini map. That let it lock back onto me. Uh, unfortunately it doesn't seem like that is the case. Um, I think what I will do as well. As soon as we've got 23 flowers. That are all about to kind of turn into mush. Can we make ourselves a garland? We can. Our sanity is Almost maxed out. Oh, here's some more gold. This is good. Our sanity is almost maxed out. It's a 180 out of 200. So uh, we don't really need a garland just yet. But having it is always nice. That guy is taking our stuff. But uh, I'm not too bothered right now. Because now we do have enough rock. And we do have more than enough gold to do anything that we would like. So uh, I am again going to make my way back to spawn. I will quickly break this rock on the way there. I'm not too all about collecting food today. Uh, today, really, all I'm after is getting that crock pot, crock pot <laughs> up and running by the end of today's episode, because if we can get that done, uh, we should be good for food for at least a little while, because we have 40, 40 berries, which makes about 10 fistfuls of jam, uh, which should probably be about 10 days worth of food, maybe, I think. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll head back. Um, we should probably get a machete. We do have one, don't we, I think? Yeah, we got a machete right now. Uh, I don't know if we're going to need a new boat anytime soon. 
Um, and I think for now, we need to start worrying about, uh, first of all, the hounds. They're going to come around day 10, day 11-ish. What is this? Is this just a spider's nest? It looks like there's something else here. Oh, there is. There's a ton of stuff here. What is this? Oh, it's a malfunctioning novelty ride. I wonder if we can fix that up. And I wonder, secondly, if fixing that up would be worth it at all. Or if it's just like a an actual novelty ride that does nothing. Hopefully he's stuck and won't follow us back to our base. It looks like he is stuck on the ocean there, which is pretty good. Uh, although we are again walking through this kind of monkey territory. Uh, or I guess they're called apes. Uh, which is, which is, they're going to follow us. Oh, we might have escaped though. <laughs> we might have escaped without them following us. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, the plan for today, get the clock pop up and running, and then maybe throw the alchemy engine down, uh, and then start preparing for the hounds. So I'm thinking maybe get some armor. Uh, we do have a few seashells, but not all that many. I can, might do a bit more of uh, a look around on this island, see if we can find some more seashells, maybe get some seashell armor. If we can't, probably settle for a log suit. But for now, well, let's go ahead and refine a bit more stone. Boom. And boom, and then we can go ahead and make a clock pot. Nice. Okay, cool. So now we've got this. All we need to do, open this up. Let's go ahead and throw some of these berries in, like so. And let's cook those up. So it's going to take a little bit of time. It won't take too long, probably. But whilst that's doing that, let's go ahead and grab some other stuff, like this grass. Uh, we should probably cut down some more trees, especially these coconut ones, so we can plant even more coconut trees, get a nice supply of coconuts going. Uh, all that good stuff. This seems like a nice start. Again, I'm not... 100% happy with the island that we found ourselves on. This is a pretty uh, empty island. Like this, this, this. Um, I guess sandy area or the beachy area that we're on is pretty empty. But it does connect to a lot of stuff. We've got a nice supply. We've got some monkeys nearby if we need those. We've got some spiders nearby if we need those. We've got a lot of trees nearby if we need those. And of course, here we have nice access to the sea. And the, the, the beach area is kind of a lot less dangerous in my... I, I found the beach area to be a lot less dangerous than, than some of the other areas. So we're going to stick to this if we can. And let's just quickly grab these limpets. We do have some butterfly wings, although I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with those. Again, normally I would just eat these straight away, but I'm not going to do that because if we eat them straight away, we lose 10 sanity. And if we come back over here, look at this. We have ourselves a fist full of jam. So what I'm thinking right now is we need a chest. We need to start setting up some storage so we don't have to carry around every single thing that we have in the whole entire world. Now, are these under survival? I think they are. The question is, where are they? Now, I think we're definitely going to need planks in order to make them. That's the anti-venom again. Thermal stone, piggy bank. I do want to make an ice machine, uh, as always, if possible. Uh, that is another thing that's missing from this island, I guess, is crabs. Uh, also, the palm leaf hut would be a nice thing to get up and running. Uh, and we also could do is chopping down a bunch of trees tomorrow, because as of right now, we don't have that much wood to make a fire, and probably don't even have enough to make a chest. And also, apparently, I'm looking in the wrong section for chests. Is it under structures, I guess? Stone wall, wood walls. Let's have a look here. It's probably somewhere down here. It's not. They're just sandcastles. Okay. Well, in that case, let's make a board. Let's quickly go and make one of those and stick it on the fire because that's going to keep us good for the rest of the night. Let's go ahead and cook up. Let's cook up. Uh, I don't know what to cook up, really. Let's grab this, this here. Let's go sit there. And then we might as well get started on the next set of these. And apparently... These things, mm, actually, I wonder, I don't think the food spoils whilst it's in the crock pot. Uh, this one is somewhat spoiled, but I think that's just because the berries that we used to make it were already somewhat spoiled. But right now we're on 46 health out of 150 if we eat our fistful of jam. We do get 40 health back or just shy of 40 health back. So it might be more like two fistfuls of jam a day to keep us somewhere near the top. It's going to keep us up to 80. Uh, so as long as we don't lose more than 80 hunger a day, which... Uh, I wonder, does the hunger go down more if we do a lot more moving, or does it go down less if we stay still, or is the hunger that goes down on a daily basis kind of just, like, set? Does it not change from day to day, do you just lose so much hunger uh, on a daily basis, and that doesn't change? I'm, 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 I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, but we'll cook that up. That is good. Uh, is there anything else we need to cook up? There is not. I will plant these down over here. This is good. This is good. And, yeah, the next thing I kind of want to start working on, maybe is getting the ice machine now it's not too actually yeah i think it's definitely worthwhile because the ice machine combined gives us ice which then if we combine the ice with some limpets in the crock pot we do get some nice food which again is very sustainable because the limpets are going to keep respawning uh, over in this little uh, sandy area over here and of course ice if we can get an ice machine up and running is going to be unlimited we're going to get more as much ice as we want which is going to be pretty nice indeed we should probably also look into making ourselves a shovel 
And you know what? I think we'll actually do that right now. I'll chop this tree down. We'll head back. I'm going to get a shovel. Is this an egg? Or is this a stone or something? That is an egg. Okay. What we'll do is we'll grab... Oh, we don't have any space. Ugh, we'll drop the sapling, I guess. Uh, even though I don't really want to drop that. Uh, we'll grab some of that. Let's go get ourselves a shovel. And then we can start digging up all of these um, berry bushes as we go as well. Uh, and also these tree stumps. Because there's no real point in leaving these tree stumps kind of all around. So we might as well dig those up and get some extra wood for those. Uh, at the same time as actually getting the rest of the wood. So... Uh, do we have what it takes to make a shovel? We do not, because we're missing the saplings that we just threw on the floor. So, again, is, are there any more saplings kind of around here? I'm hoping the answer to that question is yes, there are more saplings around here. Uh, one of the reasons I'm not playing the slot machine is I'm kind of scared that you can also get negative outcomes from that slot machine. If I play it, something's going to happen and I'm going to just die instantly. So, I'm probably not going to play it for the remainder of this episode, but we will come back at some point. And play some more of it. Um, also, do these saplings grow back? Or do we have to kind of manure them for them to grow back? I'm actually not too sure. Uh, let's eat these as they are. Which I know is not the best use of berries in the world. But it'll do for now. Then let's go grab the stick that we put down. We are spending a lot of time walking around here. Which is something that I'm not a huge fan of doing. In all fairness. But we do now have what it takes to run over to our science machine. And prototype our first shovel. Which uh, should be pretty good. We can also probably make golden tools at this point. Which I think do have higher durability. But uh, for now, I'm not going to use my gold uh, willy-nilly like that. I think I'm going to stick with just using it for what we need to use it for. Uh, now, what do I want to do with this? Let's cook up the limpets. I'm just trying to clear out inventory space, really, at this point. I'll drop that on the floor. We don't really need that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab another fistful of jam. And get some more berries out of our inventory. Because these are going off pretty quickly here. Which is not really what I want to happen. But other than that, this looks good. We've now got two free inventory slots. And so, what I'm thinking is we're going to run over. We're going to, like, dig up as many of these berry bushes as we can. As well as cut down as many of these trees as we can. And hopefully have, uh, have a pretty good setup. Okay, okay. Um, well, this is a little earlier than I was expecting. Day 7 for some hounds is real early. Which is not particularly nice. The monkeys, this monkey over here is fighting him. Uh, I didn't quite get as much tree cutting as I wanted to do because our, 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 our axe broke. And I didn't have enough saplings to actually fix the thing up. And so, oh, the monkey died. <laughs> the monkey died. Oh, the monkey has all of our stuff. That is crazy. So all the stuff that he steals from us, he actually has in his like internal inventory. That is kind of crazy. But right now we're being chased by wolves. So uh, I'm thinking we chase them around to the spiders because I don't actually have... Um, the, the, the armor that I want to have by this time to fight these guys. Um, and like I said, I didn't get quite as much. Ooh, I wonder if snakes will fight them. I didn't get quite... Oh, my God, snakes. Snakes. I didn't get quite as much... Oh, they're not fighting them. Okay, that's not good. I didn't get quite as much wood as I would have wanted to because the axe broke. But instead, I went around and started digging up some of these grass tufts and some of these saplings. So we've got quite a bit more grass and quite a bit more sapling tufts that we can go ahead and put down near our base. And hopefully... Uh, that will give us a nice longer-term source of stuff. There's the spiders. Hoping the spiders will fight it out with them. Come on, someone's got to fight it out. Oh, my goodness. This is like the most hostile place on Earth. Oh, that's not good. It's not good. It's not good. The snakes are fine. Okay. Let's make a torch. Oh, we don't have what it takes to make a torch. Oh, no, this is bad. This is real bad. Quick, fire down. Fire down. Okay. And then, uh, if push comes to shove, you know what? Even if push doesn't come to shove, I'm going to put some wood on this fire. And I'm going to spend my night on this raft just, just offshore. Because I do not want to die on day seven to those hounds. So, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do about that. Uh, what we're probably going to have to do is do a little bit more exploration, try and go to another island, because we don't have, I don't think, any more saplings uh, on this island right now. Uh, and also, not really enough uh, food. I would have liked to see more crabs over on that beach area. Uh, and so I'm quite happy with the, the, the spot we've got, but we're definitely going to have to do some more exploration. A bit more exploration that I would have liked to have had to do, but uh, we're going to have to do some more exploration between episodes, uh, or at the start of next episode, and try and find some more stuff, uh, get some more food, get some more saplings especially, because we don't have anywhere near enough of those. Um, but yeah, most of all, but like we got the we got the objective done that I wanted to get done today. It's now daybreak, which is nice. We completed our objective, which was to make a crock pot. We now have enough food to last us a, a little while, which is nice. The hounds seem to be gone. 
which is nice. I will take these doubloons. I should probably also... I'll eat these bananas, because why not? Uh, I should probably also take this poop as well, because there's really no point in not taking it. I don't want to drop um, those. Let's drop... What's this? Let's eat this. Sure. Uh, I will take this, and I can't reach those bananas, so that's fine. Okay. This isn't half bad. We got some poop, which is good. We get to have a farm if we want. Um, although I might use that for some other stuff in the future. We also have the remains of this monkey over here that we can go and, uh, and harvest as well, if needs be. The hounds seem to be dead, although I could be definitely wrong about that, and they could come back at any given time. I'm hoping that they don't. I'm hoping they stay dead for quite some time now. I don't think we can harvest those limpets just yet, because we're kind of out of food. All of our trees will be growing. I'm assuming that at some point, they will get their stuff back. This guy... Needs to get out of here. <laughs> I need to get out of my face. Uh, I don't think we can plant these here either, can we? No, we can't. We have to plant those back over in that side. But what we can do is we can go ahead and replant all of these saplings kind of nearby. Uh, now, some people did say not to plant them too close together because if you do catch them on fire, then they're all going to burn. Uh, so we'll do it like that for now. We'll also replant, I guess, these tufts nearby as well. This one has grown. Uh, did we plant that tree? Or did that, was that tree already there? I'm not quite sure. I'm assuming, I'm assuming this tree, these trees over here will eventually get some coconuts and it will be good for you. We've got quite a bit of poop. We've got some other stuff. I'm going to quickly run over uh, and play this slot machine once or twice more because I want to see uh, if we can get anything cool out of it. Uh, I kind of want to kill this monkey before we do so because otherwise uh, he's going to be a big old pain in the butt, butt, the butt side, I was going to say. Um, big old pain in the butt. Uh, let's see. Can we kill him with the hammer? <laughs> I guess so. Um. Okay. Is he going to throw poop at me? He, of course, is. I'm not too sure where these guys get their unlimited sources of poop from. But as long as he's far away from He's not far away from me. These guys are so annoying. They are so annoying. I much prefer the beefalos that you have to deal with in, uh, in the base game. They seem to have the... The behavior of crabs. Oh, no, not really. I was hoping that we could kind of walk towards them. Oh, he just follows me. Ah, it's so annoying. All right, anyway, I'm going to play this. Oh. Look at this. We got a free, uh, a free set of tools. That is pretty cool. Uh, I don't want to eat the butterfly wings, but I also don't want to use them, really. Uh, I also don't want to eat my fistful of jam. Ah, we got too much stuff we can't use. Let's drop the snake skin. Uh, let's pick up this. Uh, let's just hold this for now. All right, with that, guys, I'm going to end this episode there. We did get some more tools, which means between episodes, I can do a little bit more wood cutting uh, and stuff like that. So hopefully get some more wood. Hopefully be able to make some chests and stuff at the start of next episode. But as always, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, as always, be sure to hit like. It really does help out a lot. And I will see you guys next time.